Can I first of all explain my informal attire? Um, Shill and I are going to be in a AIDS march today here in, in Minnesota, and it's going to be about 80, 85 degrees. So uh, I figured I better not get dressed up in a suit, and I hope that's OK. Uh, but if we're talking about grassroots uh, leadership, uh, I think my dress will be OK. Uh, for me, um, I think my interest in justice concerns is in part family, which is quite often the case. Um, my father, the Jewish immigrant from Ukraine who fled persecution from Russia and um, really emphasized to me the importance of human rights. And my mother, Mincha Danishevsky, was a cafeteria worker. We didn't have that much money. So from her, it was sort of the whole focus on people who struggle to make ends meet and the importance of of, of trying to be there with, with uh, low and moderate income and working people. Um, that was really important. And then the second thing would, it, would be uh, being a student at the University of North Carolina exactly the right time with the explosion of the civil rights movement and, and then the anti-poverty work and then the anti-Vietnam War movement. All of that was my, if you will, baptism to, uh, to uh, grassroots activism and, and, to, and to grassroots leadership. And then finally, before I became a United States Senator, it was 20 years in Minnesota of teaching and community organizing. I did a lot of community organizing. And through the community organizing work, I have seen the capacity of regular people, ordinary citizens, which I mean in a positive way, to be their own leaders. To me, the, 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 the change in our country comes from the grassroots, and the most important thing is that people become their own leaders, speak for themselves, advocate for themselves. I think that's the best of leadership development. First of all, the way in which we make the change, the way in which we have more opportunities for people, more justice in our country, the ways in which we get to the point where uh, no, no citizen ever views himself or herself as a victim, but rather as men and women with rights who live a life with dignity. The way in which we get to a country where every child feels as if they're a treasure and parents have hope, and we have hope and we have vision and we have learning uh, and we have dignity, that's how we win. That's how we win. I think the key to that is a citizen politics that can beat a big money politics. The key to that is to have people who are engaged in public affairs, who are engaged in the political process, and who are willing to become the new community leaders, the new leaders in our country. And that's, that's grassroots leadership development. That has to come from the grassroots. The mode of change, the mode of power for change in our country, I'm a United States Senator, but is not going to come within the United States Senate or, the, or within the House of Representatives. It's not going to come within Washington. The mode of power for the change is going to be the external pressure. It's going to come from the grassroots. And the way that happens is when we build leaders. But most of my politics, honest to goodness, I think comes from people who should be famous, but hardly anyone in the country knows their name, people that I've just met you know, in different communities that I've lived in or worked in who have just done unbelievably good work, who have made all the difference in the world, who are very inspiring, and who, in the, in, in the words of James Agee, should be famous. They should be famous. So in a way, I think the biggest models I have are community people, neighborhood people, uh, citizens who who I think are the real patriots because they take time out of their lives and they give it to their communities, they give it to our country, they give it to making a better world. That's what I most believe in. My vision of a just society is where um, every, uh, starting with small children, um, but it can also be adults, where every person, every boy, every girl, uh, every man, every woman, um, every senior citizen um, from really birth to end of life, that, that really everybody has the same chance to reach their full potential. To me, that's the most important thing, regardless of, of uh, color of skin or boy or girl or rich or poor or urban or rural or suburban. Um, that every person, every little small child should have the same chance to, to reach their full potential. To me, that's the American dream. That's the goodness of our country. But we have still a fairly long ways to go. 
uh, for our country to really live up to that promise. If we're going to have the kind of change in our country that will make the United States of America a better America, I guarantee you it's going to be the result of much more grassroots politics, much more grassroots leadership development, much more of a voice from people from the neighborhoods in the community. To me, the definition of community is we all do better when we all do better. Whatever happened to community? I think, we need a, I think we need to get our values out there. I think we have to have an exciting, bold agenda out there. And then I think we need to do a better job of doing the grassroots organizing and building our leadership. That's the way we're going to make the change in the country.